Hey there guys, what's happening? Mike Davison here and in this video I'm going to be talking all about the Thailand Pass which is a new system that's been put in place by the Thai government to help air travellers enter Thailand in 2021 and beyond. So if you're planning to come to Thailand in the coming weeks or months this video is going to be super super helpful for you. So the Thailand Pass was launched about a week ago on November the 1st and it has replaced the COE or the Certificate of Entry and essentially it's a way for people to upload their documents and get proof of upload via a QR code which you then show when you enter Thailand. Now previously this was done using the COE or the Certificate of Entry which was a pretty clunky system. I used it myself. You had to upload various documents and then you got a piece of paper, essentially an A4 document stating all of the information that you had to show when you arrived in Thailand. Now this system has been replaced by the Thailand Pass, which is a similar idea, but hopefully it's gonna be a bit more streamlined. And instead of getting the A4 document, you're gonna receive a QR code, which you show when you enter Thailand. Now, just to make sure we're completely clear on exactly how this works, I think the easiest way is gonna to be to jump into a screen share and show you actually how to apply for the Thailand Pass. So without Without further ado, let's dive straight in. So here we are at the Thailand Pass website. I'll put a link for this in the description of this video, tp.consular.go.th. And as you can see, the registration system for traveling to Thailand only by air. So if you're traveling by land or by sea, this doesn't apply to you right now. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to assume that the people watching this are non-Thai. So we choose non-Thai here, English language, which is easiest for me. And as you will see, there are three options right now. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Exemption from quarantine, brackets, test and go. So the conditions for this are it's for travelers from a list of 63 eligible countries. I will also put the link to those countries in the description of this video. So if you are from one of those 63 countries, you are exempted from quarantine after negative test testing from COVID-19. Now you do have to book into a ASQ or a Shah hotel until you get your test results back. Okay, so you take a test at the airport, as soon as that comes back negative, you are free to travel anywhere in Thailand. Now you have to have been in the country that you're traveling from for at least 21 days. And you can see here, see a list of eligible countries. Actually, let's, let's just open that up there and you can see them there. Okay, you can see the list of eligible countries there. You also have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 for no less than 14 days before traveling and you have to get a PCR test result 72 hours before traveling. So here are the documents that you're going to need to apply. You're obviously going to need your passport. You're going to need your Thai visa if that's required. Many countries right now are able to get visa exemption. You've got to show your vaccine certificate and proof of AQ or Shah hotel reservation for one day, okay? Now that includes the, the fee for the one RT-PCR test. So like I say, you've got to get the test when you arrive at the airport, go to that hotel, the AQ or the Shah hotel. Once you've got the negative test result back, you can leave and travel anywhere in Thailand. You also have to show insurance with a minimum coverage of 50,000 US dollars. Now that has to be from a registered insurance company. I'll also put a link in the description for, of this video for some people who can help you with the visa application and the insurance. So if you need help with the visa application or the insurance, you can click on the link underneath this video, bit.ly forward slash enter Thailand. So that's the exemption from quarantine. The sandbox program 
If you are not from one of the 63 eligible countries, you can register for the Sandbox program, which is essentially seven days in quarantine. However, you can leave the hotel room during that time. Okay, so the Phuket Sandbox is one option. I did that. You can do the Samui Sandbox. There's various other sandboxes around the country, as you can see here. So you can go to any one of those locations and you can quarantine there for seven days. Now, you've got to show that you're fully vaccinated against COVID-19. You've also got to get a negative PCR test result 72 hours before traveling. And again, here are the documents that you need, the same as the test and go. Your passport, your Thai visa, your vaccination certificate, proof of your Shah Hotel, an insurance with a minimum of 50k USD coverage. And the final option is for people who are not vaccinated. So if you haven't had the vaccination, uh, you will be required to stay in a 10 day quarantine and then you can go and visit anywhere in Thailand after that. Now, the alternative quarantine option, unfortunately, doesn't allow you to leave the room. So it's worthwhile getting a nice hotel, I would say with a balcony so you can get some fresh air. So here are the requirements. You've got to show your passport, your visa if required, if you haven't got the exemption, a paid AQ hotel reservation. All right, so you've got to stay in one of the special AQ hotels. And again, insurance with a minimum coverage of 50,000 US dollars. So for the sake of this example, let's have a look at the exemption from quarantine, the test and go. So if that's what you want to apply for, all you've got to do here is click select and it's going to take you through to some terms and conditions. Okay, so obviously read through those very carefully to make sure you're very, very clear on exactly what it says. Then click the select button. I hereby acknowledge and have read. I'm not going to read through all of that now. It'll take a long time, but let's kick the confirm button. And this is really where the application starts. So obviously you'll be asked some questions about this where you're traveling from, what the purpose of traveling from is. I'm not going to fill this out, but I do know after this page is where you're required to upload your documents. So fill this out, then you'll be required to upload your documents. And in theory, within seven days, you will receive your QR code. Now, I'm just going to jump out of the screen share before we finish this video to share with you how you can speed up this process, fast track this process and allow a team of professionals to actually do it for you. Now, as I said, I've heard various people saying there's been bugs in the system, that they've had theirs rejected, and it can be a pretty frustrating and time-consuming process. I know when I did the COE, I got mine knocked back about three times. Now, it's not a difficult process, but it can be time-consuming. That's definitely true. If you haven't got time to keep checking and coming back and re reapplying, it can take up a lot of time. So if you want some help with that, guys, I can recommend an incredible team of professional visa and Thailand pass processors who can take care of the whole process for you. Again, there is a link in the description of this video, bit.ly forward slash enter Thailand. And for a small fee, this team of people can take care of the Thailand Pass application process on your behalf. So effectively, you send them the documents and they do all of the hard work. They do all of the legwork. So if you want to save some time and save some frustration, I recommend trying this service out. I've personally recommended loads of people to them and they always get results, guys. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description to this video. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you're planning to travel to Thailand, guys, do let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content all about living in and traveling to Thailand, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.